everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating a greenhouse behind my residence services. I'm in love with how this build turned out and I will be going back later on and editing it now that the update is out. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button to join the crew, hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and comment your favorite part about the 2.0 update. Personally, I'm super excited for the crops just because of how much they're going to enhance my island. The first part that we're going to be working on here is baking the pond that's going to go in the greenhouse. Truthfully, I didn't know where I was really going with this. I kind of just mapped out a random shape, filled it in, shaped it up a little bit, and went with it. As you can see here, the first design code that I used really didn't work out very well because I thought it would curve at the edges like so many of the other design cones do, but it did not. All of the design codes that are used in this video will be in the description box down below so that all of you can check them out if you liked any of them. And here we already have our first villager coming to check out what the heck we're doing today. <laughs> This is my first time using like one of those big, I guess, nine square design things. And I would have to say that I'm not a big fan. That's a lot of work just for one piece of your island. But I will say it turned out pretty cool, but I probably wouldn't use too many more of these around my island.
As you can see here, I kind of expanded the pond after I realized I didn't like the initial shape that I had designed. And even over here, I'm expanding it as well. One of the many things that I regret on my island is how many cliffs I have in the middle. It is so hard to design around them, especially this one that I am designing around right now. I don't know why I did what I did, but it does look good, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's talk update while we're decorating here. So one of my biggest plans with the update is to use the crops. I actually have a farm behind my house. I don't know if I recorded that for here on YouTube, but I know I put it on my Instagram. But I plan to take the flowers out and plant some crops back there, as well as making another section on my island somewhere for the rest of the crops. I know there was sugarcane as a crop and I actually have a rice field that I was maybe thinking about turning into a sugarcane kind of type deal because I thought that would work much better since now we have the crops to do so. I would also really like to redo my windmill farm and throw some of those new bushes that they came out with. I am in love with that wisteria porgula. I have the purple one which hurts purple. <laughs> which fits perfectly with all of my flower themes that I have, except for like those orange ones in the back there. Um, but I mainly upgraded my island to only having blue, pink, purple, and I think white flowers, I think are the flowers that I have on my island now. So I thought that stuff would work perfect with my island. I haven't gotten too much time to play around with the new update because it came out last night and I was heading to bed at the time that I saw everybody popping up on social media saying, ah, the update's out early. So that's kind of where I am on playing with the update. I am super excited for Cappy's boat ride to go to like those other mysterious islands. I think that'll be pretty neat to go see different seasons while your island is in a total different season or a different time of day. I think that would be really fun. And I heard that that's also how you get the crops as well as going to see Leaf. I feel like that's a little out there, but I know you get the crops from seeing Leaf. And I actually went onto Harv's Island last night and put down the deposit to get leave on the island first because I was like, oh heck yeah, I have to get that done first if I want my crops. <laughs>
This is my first Animal Crossing game that I have ever played, so I haven't really had much experience with Brewster, so I'm kind of excited to see what that has in store. I know a lot of people have been really hyping him up, so don't you dare be letting me down because you got me all excited, so... I already have a tip for the update and I'm sure other people are probably already going to be telling this to you before you hear my video, but last night when I logged in, texts came to my house and well, I haven't been playing Animal Crossing very much and when I do, I don't really worry about the roaches that spawn in my house. Well, Tex did. He did. Uh, he said, and I quote, Oh no, was that a cockroach? And then immediately leaves. Like, he wasn't even there. Like 30 seconds, like not even. And he walks right out the door. I was like, wow, that's upsetting. My first villager to visit my house and you throw a fit because you saw a cockroach and left. How dare you? <laughs> Let's talk island ordinance really quick. So you can choose between beautiful, early bird, night owl, and bell boom. Personally, for me, it was between beautiful and night owl, but I do a lot of time traveling, so I probably should have went with the early bird, but I didn't because um, I like to do a lot of my builds and anything on my island during the day so I can actually see what I'm doing. But I really like the idea of asking residents to pitch in with weeding, watering flowers, and clearing up trash from the water because I really don't need all the trash that comes from my rivers, my oceans, and my ponds. But personally, I don't have that much trash on my island. It's really just like the islands that I use Nook Mile tickets for to go visit. Those are really the only islands that I really have a lot of problems. Which one did you guys choose? And I do believe this is the end product that I'm showing you here. So what do you guys think? Which is your favorite part? Personally, I love all of the little sunflowers on the ground. Sunflowers are my favorite flower, but I just really like how simple and cute this is. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.